hi students of class 10 cvsc i am here with a poem fire and ice yes fire and ice from first flight dear students before i start this poem start teaching this poem i have a question to you that what are the two things what are the two virtues good qualities which can save this world what are the two good qualities which can save this world think yes think i think the two qualities are peace and love if peace is there in the world world is assured it has secure future and people will live here peacefully satisfactorily and they will live and let live and another quality that i just mentioned is love if we all love each other if we are one like one family vasudhaiv kutumbakam there will be peace all around prosperity all around and we shall be caring for each other there will not be any battle any war no violence no destruction and this world will be a peaceful place but opposite to these two things are what desire and hatred who are peaceful people peaceful people are the people who are satisfied a satisfied person is peaceful but if a person is overcome with desire he is passionate about something he has deep craving for something to grab something will he ever be peaceful no he will not be peaceful he will run after the object of his desire he will run after his goal he will chase his dream and such person can never be peaceful but if we all behave in the same way what will be the condition of the world which is right now everybody wants to be powerful everybody wants to be rich everybody wants to monopolize the resources everybody wants to be most powerful person and the result is that we fight because everybody can't be resources are limited opportunities are limited and we come to a class world war 1 world war 2 were fought for colonies who will capture colonies another war was fought in 60s for oil and third world war will be fought for water why because we desire to monopolize things we desire to capture things we have longings deep desires passion and that keeps us restless and restless people will fight they will never be peaceful another destructive quality is hatred coldness when someone is dying on the road we are very cool we take pictures photographs selfies our neighbors are suffering we don't care we are indifferent to our fellow human beings we are insensitive this is also destructive so desire and hatred each of them is capable of destroying this world many times but we are not learning in this poem fire and ice the poet has tried to prove that fire indicates desire unbridled desire unlimited desire unbound desire and ice indicates coldness our cruelty our hatred for others our indifference to others our insensitivity both of them are capable of destroying this world many times over but what can save the world i told you in the beginning peace and love opposite of these two students i would like to give you in the background background of this poem that in christianity there are seven deadly sins seven deadly sins have been mentioned pap of these seven these two are very very important potential threat to humanity one is desire other is hatred these two are two of the seven deadly sins 
these two are sins also and fire is symbolic here fire means not only the fire that we burn it is a physical fire but the symbolic meaning is deeper fire means deep desire desire greed cravings passion uncontrolled desire it is destructive so dear students without wasting time i will give you stanza wise explanation fire and ice by robert frost some say the world will end in fire some say in ice from what i have tested of desire i hold with those who favor fire these are opinions a school of thoughts that some people say that this world will burn up our planet is becoming hotter and hotter every year sea levels are rising glaciers are melting pollution has reached the level which is quite dangerous forests are burning bush fire in australia california fire fire in south america remaining forests are getting destroyed in the name of development and why development because greed desire to be rich and powerful we are destroying nature and we have in fact destroyed nature climate change is a reality this planet will burn up one day it will become a brown planet and it is becoming brown planet from green planet why because powerful countries of the world industrialized countries of the world are using resources resources of the world as if they belong to them only even in our country there are people who are called land grabbers there are people who want to control water there are people who want to control all the resources where will this world end up because everybody wants something everybody is after something people are fighting they all want the same thing and they come to a class so if desires are not satisfied anger comes in frustration and then we become violent so the poet says that the desire has the potential of destroying this world some say it is opinion the world will end in fire some say in ice no ice says will visit this earth once more physically it has happened in past several times this earth has been visited by ice age and the life was snuffed out life was destroyed dinosaurs became an extinct species because of the ice age many reptiles were wiped out so this is a great possibility fire or ice they are the two elements of nature but they have opposite qualities they have opposite natures but each of them is capable of destroying this world some say the world will end in fire world is getting destroyed we know very well some say in ice from what i have tested of desire i hold with those who favor fire the people who say this world will end in fire fire will raging fire will destroy this world war it is all about fire power we have had already two world wars the destruction that caused by these two wars we know very well so we have the potential because our desires can destroy us as i told you desires lead to clashes desires lead to fights ha huh? desire leads to battles and wars this world will be destroyed so i agree with those who think that fire will destroy this world means desire passion and our cravings will destroy this world i agree with them this is stanza 1 students now i am coming to stanza 2 but if it had to perish twice i think i know enough of hate to say that for destruction i see is also great and would suffice but if this world has to perish twice means is to be is going to be destroyed twice then ice is also ready to destroy this world and what is this ice ice indicates coldness coldness means death when we die our body becomes cold death is always cold life is always warm isn't it so 
आइस इंडिकेट्स कोल्डनेस एंड क्रुएल्टी डज अ डेड बॉडी फील लव फॉर एनी वन बिकॉज इट इज लाइफलेस एंड वी हैव बिकम लाइफलेस टू ईच अदर वी डोंट केयर फॉर अवर फेलो ह्यूमन बींग्स दिस मीन्स वी आर कोल्ड एंड क्रुएल एंड हियर आई रिकॉल अ पोएम विच आई टॉट द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास एट द नेम ऑफ द पोएम वॉज कोल्ड विद इन देर वेर सिक्स पीपल दे केम फ्रॉम ऑल रेसेस दे हैड डिफरेंट कलर्स ऑफ स्किन एंड दे वेर इन ए कोल्ड रीजन इट वॉज स्नोइंग देयर द इंटायर ग्राउंड वॉज वाइट इट वॉज फ्रीजिंग कोल्ड ओवर देयर ईच वन ऑफ दैम ईच वन ऑफ दैम वॉज होल्डिंग अ लॉग ऑफ वुड लॉग ऑफ वुड इज वेरी हैंडी each one of them was holding a log of wood but because each one of them hated other nobody was ready to throw his or her log of wood in the middle and make fire they clung on to their log of wood each of them none of them threw his or her log of wood in the middle and make fire when the morning came there were six bodies around in a circle they all died during the night people would say they died from cold no they died from cold within not cold without because they were not ready to part with their logs of wood they all died because they hated each other and hatred made them cruel to each other none of them threw his or her log of wood in the middle to make fire everybody was jealous of each other all the people were jealous of each other and the result was that all six of them died this is an example of coldness this is an example of hatred so here it is if it had to perish twice i think i know enough of hate to say that for destruction ice is also great so ice can also destroy the world here ice is not simply ice it is our nature our coldness of nature our indifference to others our insensitivity to others this is ice okay and it is enough to destroy this world so dear students i have summarized the poem i am sure you have understood everything but before i take a leave of you i would like to point out some of the poetic devices that have been used in this poem number 1 some say the world will end in fire some say in ice here some say has been used successively in two lines this is called anaphora hmm repetition okay then some say has also alliteration also here hmm like both the words start with s okay uh, there are many other a uh, favor fire it is also an example of alliteration so uh, these are the poetic devices last line to say that for destruction ice is also great and would suffice this line has no punctuation only one punctuation has been used after suffice so one idea is not complete in one line so idea has to run into three lines so it is called injebment okay so i think you have understood everything have a nice day